Now that the water level on the Illinois River is going down, families who live along it are beginning the cleanup process. Some people lost their homes and they're taking advantage of today's sunshine to help dry out everything they own. News on 6's Amy Slanchik is live on the scene along the Illinois River in Cherokee County. Amy. Scott and Terry in this area, the Illinois River is down to about eight and a half feet. And I want to show you this uprooted tree right here uh, along the river, but about 10 miles away in a small village, there's a much bigger mess to clean up. Among the path of destruction at the Illinois River Village. So we've got to get everything out. Be careful. Jackie Morris yeah. still sees the beauty. I love it here. I love it. It's God's green earth. Two houses and three mobile homes are destroyed and uprooted trees can be found with every turn. The way this tree fell, so he pulled the roots up and then the tree slid under my deck as opposed to the tree going bam onto my, which I'm very grateful for that. This is one of the roads here at the Illinois River Village. The river is about 150 feet that way. Folks who live here say this is not the first time this has happened. If you're going to live on the river, these, you just have to accept it. You know, and just try to do better next time. Morris has lived here for almost four years and dealt with the December 2015 flood. One couple who lost their home lived here for 20 years. They're going to just tear theirs down. I don't know where they're going to go from here. While the mess gives a whole new meaning to the idea of spring cleaning, Morris says the hard work to get things back to normal will be well worth it. The community is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of Vietnam vets and retirees out here, and it's very peaceful. Get out of the city chaos, and how could you not love it? The Red Cross is helping people who were impacted by the floodwaters. No one who lives in that village was hurt. Live on the scene on the story along the Illinois River, Amy Slanchik, News on 6.